Relatives of the students whose DNA test results failed to match with the 17 bodies burnt beyond recognition during the ADF attack on Rubiriha Secondary School in Kasese uncertain about the fate of their loved ones. Among them is Remigio Okule from Chisinga Town Council. His son, surprise, Yunasi, had only recently joined the school after receiving a scholarship. As we're still just waiting, I don't know when I will wait for, because I don't know if I, I'm just waiting if... They just, I got a message that my child is being found in Congo, I'm ready to go there. If the UPDF could just tell me that I should just follow them, I'm ready to go there to restore my child. Because I want to see my child alive or anyway, just according to God's will. Remij and other parents whose children are still missing have implored the government to use its powers and resources to bring back their sons and daughters, dead or alive. We are at home. Our hearts they are not inside. Over you will find her is, is among the dead people. But at least you can know that our sister, she's dead. Over he is still missing. They took her. Make sure to try by the all means so that you can know. The grieving families say they are suffering financially because they have had to cater for mourners at their homes since the attack on the school nearly two weeks ago. They have appealed to government for financial support. And every time we have been just getting supper, nani breakfast at the morning, lunch and supper that being bought from the shop that I was been just uh, requesting them just uh, to, to, to loan me. According to Godfrey Kavyanga, the state minister for ICT, seven bodies are still pending further DNA testing after the initial test did not match with any of the samples from the relatives. He has called upon the families to be patient. He took uh, the samples of the parents who are still uh, uh, looking for their, uh, their children. Uh, they, they, it was just random because we don't know who might have been abducted and the, <coughs> the, the, the bodies which are in Fort Porto. Meanwhile, after screening people that were arrested in regards to the Kasese attack, the Mpondwe Rubiriha school director Nelson Bulotemu and the head teacher Raymond Mohindo, together with other four people, are still being held by police to help in further investigations.